Hey Gabe, Carlo Wine here, L Wine Engines. Just gathering parts here. Two inch connecting, two inch rod journal, Comstar rods. Two inch rod journal bearings uh, for, let me say, for what we're going to do today. I'm just gonna show you how I do a balance. Uh, on your end, if you're doing it a one-off one time and you can order a whole kit balanced from the factory, like from Eagle, order it from Summit or Jags or whoever you order it from, do it that way. No need to watch this video. If you have gathered a few like connecting rods used or crank rods, pistons, this is for you, this is what I do. I give this these weights to the balance shop. Or if I'm ordering the crankshaft from Eagle, I tell them to balance to this. So it's as simple as gathering pistons, rings, the rods, and the rod bearings. Hey gang, this is Carl again. It looks like I forgot to hit record on the camera. You'll see I've already measured and weighed all these things again. I'll do it again. All right. What I do is make sure I, just for the records, I weigh everything individually. I get the bearings, just one rod bearing set, and I put it on both. If I didn't mention that in the uh, video that I didn't record, I'm, I'm putting it on both scales and then I make sure it reads the same on both scales. So, uh, make sure I push tear on them. 44. Push tear on this one. 43. 44. And 43. So that's 43 and a half for bearing. For rod. Let me show you what I do for rod, which I, I don't weigh the rod. I take the weights from Callie's and I write those down. Um, just making sure you don't transpose wrong. 442 for the rotating weight or the big end, 172 for the small end. This will be within two grams. Make sure that you don't mix these rods up with any other set that you might have. So I wrote on here there for project number 117, these pistons, are a 395, you know, they're for a 3.875 stroke. This is a 3.875 stroke crank. I'm just verifying, I'm validating. All right, now, back to the pistons, rings. Okay, I weigh everything separate first. Then I put it, everything all in a pile. The pin, the locks, the rings, the piston, I put them all in a pile. Since I've already weighed them individual, I'm going to put, put them all in the pile. This thing has turned itself off, so I've got to redo it and re-tear. This will be the whole piston ring pin kit, 548, 550, see how they 549, 550, 548, 550, 549. All right, I'm gonna call it 549, the whole pile. But I'm gonna weigh them individual. Tear here, hit tear, hit tear. Okay, pin should be about 117. 117, 118, 117, 117. Okay, I'm gonna call it 117. That's what I got. <laughs> the locks, they should be two. Two and two, all right.
the wire locks are two. Uh, the rings all themselves, but not with, I'm going to wait, this is just for the records, but this is the oil support rail that's needed because the pin goes into the oil package, the oil ring package. So this is an additional ring that just holds them steady. I'm going to wear this separately just for the records. Four and five. Five and five. What did I call it? Five. Okay. Now the rings all by themselves, one set, a top ring, a second ring, and an oil control ring. 22, 22, what did I write earlier? 22, all right. So I got the pings, rings, rail, piston by itself. 403, 403, okay. So those are all written down. So now I'm gonna add them up individually to see if they equal 549. Be right back. Hey, bonus content, guys. Um, do you ever wonder why people have different size rod journals? Uh, I get, it's a, if you get a custom crankshaft, if you, if you have the opportunity and you're doing a stroker and it is available, get a two inch rod journal or get a, it's an, called Honda 1.888. I guess is the journal size. And that helps you have to do less clearancing. Um, but it's also a, makes the rotating assembly a little bit lighter. So here is a two inch rod right here. Ooh, look at the grease has leaked. <laughs> um, compare the weight here to the 2.1 inch rod journal. All right, rotating on this is 428. The, on the 2.1, it was 442. So 428 compared to 442. And then the reciprocating 161 compared to 172. So the rod is already lighter. It's not necessarily weaker. Um, all right. So I'm doing the balance card for this one here, the four, the four inch stroke that's gonna get a two inch rod journal crank rod. Four two eight one six one four two eight one six one. Yeah. Okay. They don't look much different. All right. So, the bearing this is a two-inch rod journal bearing. How much does it weigh differently? King CR803 XPN compared to these. These are 40, uh, 43.5 grams. Hit tear. Tear. Okay. 41. 41. 41. 40. I'm going to call it 41 grams. All right. So in a nutshell, a little bit lighter and easier to clearance your block. That's why you want to get whenever you can for the crankshaft, a two inch rod journal, small block Chevy, or even a 1.888, uh, the Honda size. And for this four inch stroke, 408 stroker, it's going to be a two inch rod journal with 41 grams for the for the, they're called the bearing inserts. 41 grams, 
bearings, 2.0 inch. All right, Carlo, I know one engines. Take care. <laughs>